Hey there, Nappy here, and today on Ark Made Easy, we're over on the Lost Island where we'll be having a look at Basilisk Taming. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and click that bell to get notified when I upload new content or go live. And if at any time you find yourself enjoying the video, go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. If you have difficulty using this method, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help as best I can. I'm Nappy, this is my intro. Not very long cut to the video. Aside from getting the eggs needed to tame the basilisk, the taming process itself is ridiculously easy, needing only a single foundation, a shoulder pet, small creature that can be carried by a human. The other small creatures that cannot be carried, it's possible to use them, but it's a bit tricky, so you're better off just using a shoulder pet, to be honest. As you can see, you can place the foundation over top of the shoulder pet. No problem there, as long as it's not sticking out, that's gonna work just fine. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Try and get it on this dodo here. Well, yeah, let me move this out of the way. I think it's too close to the other ones. That should do right there. Okay, let's try this right here. Just move it around until you'll find a spot. Just make sure the head isn't poking up through. Go ahead and drop it there, that looks good. As you can see, that's nice and safe. The poison from the basilisk will not penetrate those foundations, at least it should not. And as you can see with the other small creatures that you can't pick up, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Usually they stick out like halfway on one of the sides, so you're better off not using these ones to be honest. Before you put your basilisk bait underneath the foundation, you're going to want to go ahead and set it to passive and ignore group whistles just to make sure it stays underneath the foundation because it can easily sneak right back out if it's on neutral. We've got a basilisk over here from the previous video where we talked about four methods on finding the basilisk here on the Lost Island. Go ahead and check that out if you need to. We've got an Arthropleura here that we're going to have to drag off this cliff real quick. That will make short work of our stone foundation, and we definitely don't want that happening. Okay, we've got that out of the way now. Get our Basilisk bait down, we'll get the foundation on top of it. Then we're going to drop down some eggs. You can use either Magmasaur, Voidworm, or Rock Drake. Plenty of Magmasaur eggs here on the Lost Island. But with the Voidworm eggs, they have egg health unlike the Rock Drake and Magmasaur. And I think it's only about 16 minutes until they spoil, so I don't really suggest using those. But if you would like to, feel free. Let's run up here and grab the Basilisk quick. And then we just run it right back and the shoulder pet should pull its aggro. A quick tip, the Federation Exosuit skin from Genesis Part 2 will protect you from the toxic gas of the Basilisk with or without element and you only need the helmet. And if we can get this off of the rock, we're going to go ahead and get the taming process started hopefully. Okay, here we go, now it's coming up. Once the taming process begins, do not de-render the basilisk or it will bury and ruin effectiveness. And we missed the animation, but it did start taming. You can either track it in your inventory with the creature tracker, or you can actually just run right up to it. It usually keeps aggro on your shoulder pad the entire time. There is a rather large window between each feeding. It can get a little stressful and you might think that it's not working, but just give it some time. And this one ends up taking about eight and a half minutes, so we're just gonna speed through that real quick and we'll be right back. Coming up on the final feeding now, as you can see this is a bit time consuming, but for the most part it's pretty easy. Just make sure you wait it out so you do not lose that effectiveness. And there we go, got the basilisk. It looks like it likes both the rock drake and the magmasaur, it did not touch either of the void worm eggs. 
Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Arc Made Easy. Hopefully you found it helpful, and if you do have any trouble, make sure to drop a comment down below and I'll try and help out. But as always, thanks for watching, keep on surviving, and stay free. You can check out my latest video down below, more Arc Made Easy over on the left, subscribe to my channel down in the corner, and I'll see you in the next one.